breaking news out of Manitoba tonight, a province that has been on edge for weeks as it became the central focus of a nationwide manhunt for two teenagers suspected of triple murder. Tonight, relief. The police say the manhunt is over and that they found the remains of Briar Shemigelski and Cam McLeod. This morning at approximately 10 a.m., our CMP officers located two male bodies in the dense brush. At this time, we believe these are the bodies of the two suspects wanted in connection with the homicides in British Columbia. The remains were discovered near Gillam in northern Manitoba, a community that was living with fear and uncertainty during this search. Tonight, those fears can be put to rest. But more than anything, the Mounties hope there is closure for the families of the B.C. man and the tourist couple the teens are suspected of killing. For the very latest on this development, let's go to Global's Brittany Greenslade in Winnipeg. Brittany? Yeah, Robin, it's been an exhaustive search, and after more than two weeks, many people had given up hope of ever finding Cam McLeod and Briar Schmigelski. Now, RCMP even pulling resources out of the area. But this morning, the search officially over after two bodies were found. As police began to scale back their efforts, critical evidence was found Friday in the rugged, densely wooded terrain. While Mounties refused to say what items belonging to the suspects they found, they admit it was a crucial find in changing their search. Police have not said exactly where the bodies were found, but here's what we do know. A vehicle driven by the two men was found burned out on July 22nd near Fox Lake Cree Nation. Police say the bodies were found about eight kilometers from that spot. Police were led to this new location after finding items, including a rowboat, on the shoreline of the Nelson River. The bodies were found in dense brush this morning within a kilometer of where those items were located. The community of Gillum has remained on edge for weeks, and today news helps bring closure to them and a sigh of relief from investigators. There's obviously a certain amount of relief um, that we were able to f locate these people and, and hopefully bring some closure not only to the victims of the homicides but to the people of Gillum, Fox Lake Cree Nation, York Landing, Ilford War Lake Nation. It's, it's, it's huge to be able to hopefully give some people uh, an opportunity to exhale and to hopefully eventually go back to normal and not being afraid of who's out in the woods anymore. Brittany, do we know how the pair died? Yeah, that's still one of the major questions that remains unanswered. RCMP have not said how they died or how long they were dead before those bodies were found this morning. Now, BC RCMP have been the lead investigators in this entire case from the beginning. They gave an update today after those suspect bodies were found. BC RCMP investigators have spoken to the families of Leonard Dick, Lucas Fowler, and China Deese, and provided them with the latest update. The RCMP will continue to offer support to them, understanding that the traumatic losses they have gone through do not end with the deaths of these men whom we believe to be our suspects. Suffice to say, there was significant evidence that linked our suspects to both crime scenes. Now, still a lot of questions remain unanswered. We do know those two bodies are being flown from Gillam to Winnipeg tonight for autopsies over the next few days. We are hoping for more answers in the coming days and weeks.